my voice now what the joys of working with your computer i just took a picture of myself instead of starting video but anyways um this is a book that i'm listening to right now and i just like this little opening because it's about family and i kind of miss my family so i figured i'd read this because it's kind of fun this is the opening chapter of small favor by jim butcher winter came early that year it should have been a tip-off a snowball soared through the evening air and smacked into my apprentice's mouth since she was muttering a mantra style chant when it hit her she wound up with a mouthful of frozen cheer which may or may not have been more startling for her than for most people, given how many metallic piercings were suddenly in direct contact with snow. Molly Carpenter sputtered, spitting snow, and a round of hooting laughter went up from the children gathered around her. Tall, blonde, and athletic, dressed in jeans and a heavy winter coat, she looked natural in the snowy setting, her cheeks and nose turning red with the cold. Concentration, Molly! I called. I carefully kept any laughter I might have wanted to indulge in from my voice. You've got to concentrate. Again. The children, her younger brothers and sisters, immediately began packing fresh ammunition to her ladder. The backyard of the carpenter house was already thoroughly chewed up with, from an evening of winter warfare and two low fortress walls faced each other across ten yards of open lawn. Molly stood between them, shivering, and gave me an impatient look. This can't possibly be real training, she said, her voice quavering with cold. You're just doing this for your own sick amusement, Harry. I beamed at her and accepted a freshly made snowball from little Harry who had apparently appointed himself my squire. I thanked the small girl gravely. Oh, correction, little hope, sorry. I thanked the small girl gravely and bounced the snowball on my palm a few times. Nonsense, I said. This is wonderful practice. Did you think you were going to start off bouncing bullets? Molly gave me an exasperated look. Then she took a deep breath, bowed her head again, and lifted her left hand. Her fingers spread wide. She began muttering again, and I felt the subtle shift of energies moving as she began drawing magic up around her. In an almost solid barrier, a shield that rose between her and the incipient missile storm. Ready? I called out. Aim! Every single person there, including myself, threw before I got to the end of aim, and snowballs sped through the air flung by children ranging from the eldest, Daniel, who was 17, down to the youngest, little Harry, who wasn't even big enough to have much of a throwing arm, but who didn't let that stop him from making the largest snowball he could lift. Snowballs pelted my apprentice's shield, and it stopped the first two, the frozen missiles exploding into puffs of fresh powder. The rest of them, though, went right on through Molly's defenses, and she was splattered with several pounds of snow. Little Harry ran up to her and threw last, with both hands, and shrieked merry triumph as his breadloaf-sized snowball splattered all over Molly's stomach. Fire! I barked belatedly. Molly fell onto her butt in the snow, sputtered some more, and burst out in a long belly laugh. Harry and Hope, the youngest of the children, promptly jumped on top of her, and from there the lesson in defensive magic devolved into the Carpenter children's long-standing tradition of attempting to shovel as much snow as possible down the necks of one another's coats. I grinned and stood there watching them, and a moment later found the children's mother standing beside me. So I'll stop there. Just a cute little moment with family. And I miss mine. I know, I know you guys love me, and I look forward to seeing you again. And I hope everybody else that may be watching this, that you're enjoying the time you have with your family. So that's what this one was about, just getting a chance to reminisce about family and look forward to snowball fights in the future with the little ones in our family. So... 
I hope everybody's doing well. Think of your families. Think of those that aren't near their families. And my voice. Now what?